Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this very easy 4th of July look. I know this is what I'm going to be wearing because I'm going to work most of the day and this is something I can create early in the morning and I know that it won't expire by the end of the work day. I know it'll still look pretty fresh and it will still stand out because of the glitter lip. It is a double wing liner so it is a black wing, a white wing, and the red glitter lip. You guys can switch out, of course, the colors. Um, it doesn't have to be 4th of July. It can be literally any color. You can use this double wing technique for a glitter wing. It can be blue, silver. The wing can be red itself. I just prefer a white wing because it stands out more on my eyes and I guess like my skin tone. So yeah, I opted for a white wing. But like I said, you guys can use any color you want. And also for your lips, you can do a navy blue lip with this look and wear it for 4th of July. I love red lips, so I'm going to stick with the red glitter lip. You don't have to do glitter. So yeah, if you want to learn how to get this look, just keep on watching. So for my liquid liner, lately I've really been loving the Italia Black Liquid Liner. Ever since the NYC one has been so hard to get your hands on, um, I've tried out this one and it works amazing. You can get it for from 2 to $5. I believe they have it on eBay and Amazon. Just search up Italia Black liquid eyeliner so I just felt like I wanted to tell you guys that in case you were looking for a dupe so moving on to the wing so I like to usually just start off by creating the shape of the wing that I want which is usually starting from the inner corner and then um, creating the tail going upward and then basically I just fill it in it's pretty self-explanatory if you just kind of watch and pay attention it's really easy to create this is the most simple method that I have found yet to create a wing and it's the one that works for me the most and you basically just want to repeat the same steps on your other eye you want to have a steady hand. You also want to rest your elbow maybe on a table or um, rest it on the mirror. Or you can also rest your pinky on your cheek, which is usually what helps me the most. This is actually like my awkward eye because it folds differently than the other eyes. So this is the eye that usually gives me the most trouble. But you just want to make sure to take your time with the step and try not to rush it. Also a tip would be to look down while you do your eyeliner, look down into a mirror. So back in with a white eyeliner from the same brand. I also really enjoy this one because it doesn't crack on me like most white eyeliners do. This one stays white and it stays smooth most of the day. So I'm just going right on top of the black line. You want to be very careful with the step. You want to have a really steady hand. Don't worry if you mess up the black line because you can always go over and fix it which I'll show you how I do in a minute. But right now I'm just creating. For the most part I want the top part to be fluid. And boom, that eye is done. It's not perfect, but it is almost. And you want to create that same steps on your other eye. Don't be discouraged. I know it looks like it's really hard, but if you take your time, this is actually a really easy makeup look to create. And I promise you'll get so many compliments. And you can see there I kind of messed up, but it's okay. I don't worry about it too much because right here is where I go back in with the black and I just sharpen up the lines. Any parts that got smudged or any parts that tugged on your eye and looked like, like they were jumpy, like a wrinkle I guess, that's where you go and you fix it. And boom, liner is even. 
check yourself out real quick, your masterpiece. And I'm moving on to lashes. I'm using the Makeup Shack Bad and Bougie Silk Lashes. These are honestly so bomb. I know I say that about every single eyelash that I talk about, but these are genuinely so beautiful. So yeah, I'm just popping these onto my eyes just to top off and finish the look. They're very dramatic and spiky, but they're not too full to where you can still see the white eyeliner, which I love. And you want to apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes real quick. This is what's going to help make it look a little more, like, toned down. I feel like it grounds the look overall. Um, so, yeah, don't neglect your bottom lashes. Then I'm taking Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls. It's my favorite red lip. And, yeah, you don't have to do the glitter. Um, as you can see, it looks really pretty without it. But if you just want that extra pop, I'm going in with this J-Cat Red Glitter and the Sugar... What is it? Liquid Sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. And I just wet my brush and then I just tap it into the red glitter. And boom, tap this all over your lips. You want to make sure it's a thin layer of glitter, so you want to keep pressing it in so it's not chunky and it won't crumble off your lips. So make sure to use a small amount. And there you guys have it. That is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoy. It's very easy, and I know you guys will all be able to recreate it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end, and I'll see you guys next time.